Morning, morning, my beautiful souls. Thank you. So I wanted to talk about twin flame union, right? Um, and some are called at this time to be in union with the twin flame, right? And as we know um, that the old paradigm of old twin flames um, is no longer, and it is within ourselves that we hold the key to have union with oneself, right? But this does not happen just like this. It's definitely a process, and just like other lessons, they have different layers. Um, it's definitely the same. It's just like having union with oneself, right? There's so many layers of union right you never stop having union with oneself and with your if you're a divine feminine and you are having union with your divine masculine i think at in regards to that it it has been i think we have already did one layer of it and it has been a process and it's really about how to trust your divine masculine within yourself, right? Trying to, um, how can this all be connected? How can we um, be merged into one, right? And for my experience, um, I use a lot of the violet flame meditation and I use um, the twin flame, right? And with that, um, the pyramid of light, the rainbow pyramid of meditation, yes. So those two, right? The pyramid of rainbow light and the other one was the um, violet flame okay and when somebody uh, mentioned about a union it kind of uh, I guess triggered it but not really in a negative way right trying to transmute that triggeredness <laughs> and it was that when I was laying down, because I usually do my meditation um, when I am sleeping, um, I just saw myself and my divine masculine in the chamber of the pyramid of rainbow light. And it was like... Um, What would I, how would I say it? It is, it is, it was just this area that goes up and down. I said it before, I just don't know how, but it is just like a place where you, a chamber that you go in there and you and your divine masculine. So for me, that was telling me that we are healing anything that is keeping us away from union, healing our past experiences with each other. And, you know, your divine masculine, you know, he comes in and he does his own thing and just like the divine feminine we have learned not to put so much um emphasis on the divine masculine right because we had to evolve so much and we had to know and we have the element of air here thank you and the animal spirits and mother gaia and our the heavens here as well and we just really had to 
bring that power back to us, that worth that we thought that we had lost along the way, and that self-confidence. So when you are feeling that you are having union, right, it could be with union with oneself or union with your twin flame, you would you have that calling it's kind of like a little preparation you are feeling it right whether it's something that you do for yourself um that is very sacred to you um i remember when i had union with myself i had made um a bracelet it was a red bracelet it was very significant to me very important to me and that was something that I had really embraced because union with myself, it was having union with God, with your divine source. And that is something that nobody would ever break. You know, I would never break that bond anymore. You know, it's very sacred, you know, and I had taken a spiritual um, bath with beautiful flowers, um, but the the red bracelet was very significant to me, and uh, it was, I was just called to it. Um, the other time, I think, as well with union with myself, um, it had passed. Months had passed, and I no longer was wearing it anymore, and that was just. I was just not called to wear it anymore, and I put it away, and then all of a sudden, it popped up, and I said, you know what, it has meaning to me, because for me, everything I see, everything I hear is something meaning on what I'm going through my journey. For me, it, it it's... A way of moving through my journey to just it's like a little game it's it comes to that that it's really but it is your journey of like free will of really enjoying and discovering who you really are right thank you that's confirmation from the elements of air and yes so with my twin flame I did it, it was very different on how I expected that a union was going to be like. And I think I had already like three different unions with my masculine. I think the last one was probably a couple of months ago. I think um, it was one of, I think it was the... Sagittarius moon and um, and as we evolve as we move forward that's my little niece um, as we move forward um, the moons have just been amplified right every moon cycle is, is something so spectacular that is it brings light to your journey. Clarification, everything. Purification, everything. I, Everything, everything, everything. And so with that in, you know, I do see my masculine, but I learned to, as how the message that he gave me is like you, you start living your life, you know, start enjoying your life, you know, really embrace it, right? Um, union will come when it will come, and you will just know that, right? Because you will have his energy come in, right? And it, it's, it's something that I just can say right now at this point, right? Uh, you have little conversations, but I don't, if he's here, I don't really put a lot of emphasis on him because with the physical twin flame, 
I had to detach that. I had to detach myself from that because I was not being truth to myself. So, you know, my divine masculine within myself does give me motivation. It, you know, he, he lets me... Um, my number one thing that he loves me to be in is be in just peace and happiness and that's where I can just create and create and create and create and he is kind of like the the doer of things right but he lets me do my thing in my own time and you know I see him you know uh, when you feel that you feel that your divine masculine kind of is um, has kind of abandoned in you um, just know that there is some healing, but that is something that is okay. You know, it's been such a long time that we have been hurt that, it, you know, we are, we are building a new relationship with oneself, right? And that's how we become union with, with divine masculine and divine feminine, right? It's the creator and the doer right and we are in hand in hand with this but as of right now we are still um trying to to release any constraints um that we have within ourselves and really try to just get out of the box and really try to enjoy our lives i think we have been little by little but I think that we are not fully out of this um, box yet. And our Divine Masculine is just really letting us know, like, hey, you know, really just do your thing. I, uh, you know, this gives me, you know, I love you. You know, I love you so much. I enjoy you. I enjoy seeing you evolve and it just brings so much joy to me, and I know that you can do this. So it, he's like, you know, he he's your, he sees you, he sees you in the back, he knows you, he he's he's like giving the hurrah for you, okay? And that's all I can let you guys know about union is that you will be called to do something like a preparation of sacred it's very sacred to you okay and it's not gonna look like how it you have thought it could be it's gonna be more sacred and it can be very simple but it is so profound all right and that happens with you know union with your masculine maybe you'll have a heart you know heart to heart and don't let um you know judgment come into come in your way right kind of gonna basically I mean how do I start this how do I do this that was kind of my one of my first conversations with my divine masculine you know I saw that he was in my dreams that he was coming in my dreams and I saw his energy and it's like how do I learn to trust you well it's a process it's it, it's about healing layers of our relationship so we can really, really get the full union of oneself. So that's what I really wanted to share with you guys. Um, yes, for any type of questions that you guys have in regards of like, oh my God, I'm going through this. What do I do? Please put them in the comment section because then like that I can really... Uh, let you know my experience and maybe that will assist you in how you can navigate uh, through your ascension and through your journey and through your process and through your unions and through your activations right until then my beautiful friends namaste